All right, we are live. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, my fellow comic book collectors. My name is Chris, and this is my channel, We Love Comics. It is currently 12.31 p.m. Eastern Time, the 22nd of July, 2019. Summer's going by pretty fast. And I found some interesting things that I want to share with you guys. Uh, one of them I didn't even remember I had. And um, because of the fact that we're going to be hopefully moving in the next month or so, and we still have to find out if we get approved or not, um, I was going through some boxes trying to see what I can throw out and things like that, and I found this old box with a whole bunch of my stuff in it. And um, what some of the things I found, I found absolutely amazing, so I wanted to share these with you. So uh, before I start and give people a little bit of time to find out that I'm doing a live um, show, I am selling my comic books, and also, right after this video, I'm going to be doing another video. Um, I mentioned the other day that I'm going to be selling some of my gold and palladium one-ounce bars. Uh, a couple of people said they'd be interested in those, so uh, right after this, I'm going to do a video about that, but they are already on the website and I'm selling them actually below spot. Because if I could sell these, I pretty much am guaranteed to get that house unless they don't approve us. Which I don't see a problem with that. So, um, it's I put it all the way at the top of the web store, so it makes it a lot easier. So if anybody's interested in, I have one, about five one-ounce gold bars, all in assays, and two palladium uh, one-ounce bars... I put them on the website already, but I'm going to do a video showing them after this so you can see them. Um, once those are gone, that's it. So if you're interested in those, I just put the link right here in the live chat. And uh, it's also the web store is going to be in the description. So if anybody's interested in that or the mystery boxes or the individual comics, let me know. Because I'm going to be going through my comic book boxes and trying to find some of the hot box, the comics that are coming out now. And I'll see if I can sell some of those. Um, the Palladium Bars, I have only two of them that I'm going to be selling, possibly three. Um, I'm selling them below spot. So spot price means what they're currently going for. Right now, Palladium is going for about $1,525 an ounce. I'm selling mine for $1,499. So, you know, you go to any um, store that sells precious metals, good luck getting these $20, 30 $40 over, over spot. I'm selling them $20 under spot. And the gold is roughly about $1,425. I'm selling them for about $1,415. So again, about $10 under spot. So if anybody wants them, check on that. Because those are going to... If I can sell all seven of those bars, that will give me the money I need to be able to buy the house. So if you know anybody that collects precious metals... Now, that's not even one one-hundredth of what I have. I went to my storage facility, took a few bars out... Because I definitely don't leave those at home. Um, but if I could sell a few of them and it helps me get my house, I'm going to do it. But that make no mistake, that's not all the bars I've had over the years. So seven bars are available for sale. They are already on the web store. First come, first serve. There are five gold bars, one ounce, and two palladium. But that's not why you guys are here. But I'm going to do the video after that. So now I have enough people here to start showing what I found. So let me put on the video camera. So I have a couple of things I want to show you. So I was going through a box of some nostalgic stuff, not realizing that I would find a couple of things. So I wanted to start out with this. I bought the day it came out. Um, it originally came with a CD, and it was, you know, wrapped in plastic. But I took that out, and this because the CD back then was pretty good. But the first thing I found was issue number one of the Maxim magazine. Pretty in pretty good condition. So I don't know how much this is worth. It's probably worth 20, 30 bucks at this point. But you never know in a couple of decades. I don't even know if this magazine still prints and makes them. But that was number one. So I thought that was cool. Now, I wish I found others, but I found one of my comics I bought at a yard sale um, back in the 80s. And wait until you hear the price I got for this. So I'm going to show the back of this book. It's a Silver Age key book. I bought this at a yard sale back in the 80s. This was in the box of stuff. It was the only one, but it was a nice, pleasant surprise. But it is Green Lantern issue number 7, first appearance of Sinestro. And I paid a grand total of $5 for this book back in the days. 
Mark says, Palladium, the metal that was killing Tony Stark. You should get rid of that stuff, Chris. Well, I if anybody buys my Palladium bars, I would not suggest placing them around your heart. So, a little disclaimer. If you buy any of my precious metals, uh, please do not insert them in your heart cavity. Please see a proper physician. So, this is the first appearance of Sinestro. Uh, Sinestro. This is probably a 2.5 to a 3.0 when I bought it. But look at this. No backing board. Original bag it laying flat in a box for decades. Still in the exact condition the day I bought it. Now, it's a lower grade book because I bought it at a yard sale. It was a lower grade book. But it's still in great condition. I didn't even tape it. It was open. So that was a nice, pleasant surprise. But I got one more surprise. I actually, right here, is a book, and I did not even realize I did this. I have... Oh, wrong book. Hold on a second. That's live for you. Okay, so I picked the wrong book. This, I actually documented the first two years of me collecting comics. I didn't even remember I did this. So I'm going to show you some of them and what I paid for some of these. I even marked, I was going to mark down each year. So this, I started in 1988 and 1989. So I wrote how much money I spent. And when you see some of the comics, so I was actually writing them all down back then. So let me show you some of the comics. Amazing Spider-Man, issue number 23. I wrote the conditions, mint condition, $30. Amazing Spider-Man 33, mint condition, $11. These are all the books that got stolen from me. Amazing Spider-Man 49, uh, sorry, sorry, 45, mint condition, $10. Amazing Spider-Man 72, mint condition, $1.50. Uh, Conan the Barbarian, this was the one I talked about. That would have been easily a 9.8. Where is it? $90 that I paid for that book. Avengers number 21, mint condition, $12. Let me see, because there's some key books in here that I bought. Um, let's see. X-Men number 45, mint condition, $9. And that's not even the best ones. I just got to find them. So, Incredible Hulk, 331, mint condition, $1. Amazing Spider-Man, 161 and 162, mint condition, $5 each. So, I wrote these down, but I want to show you the major key ones that I bought. Hawkman number two, $7. Okay, so the Green Lantern number seven, and just to show, I wrote it down. Green Lantern number seven, grand total of $5. Green Lantern number two, a grand total of $10, uh, $24. Amazing Spider-Man, 194 $1.25. That's not even the good ones. Wait until you see this. Um, Adventure Comics, two eighty three. dollars First Phantom Zone, first General's Odd, $14. Okay. Wait until you see these. Um, let's start right here. Amazing Spider-Man. Issue number 300. Two dollars. Amazing Spider-Man, issue number 14. First Green Goblin, in mint condition, $90. Amazing Spider-Man 122, Death of Green Goblin, mint condition, $18. That's not even the best ones. 
me find it really quick. So a lot of these are 80s and 90s garbage. All right, here you go. Let's start right here. Incredible Hulk, number six. $56.25. My Tales of Suspense, number 40. And that's not the one I'm selling. That one got stolen. Mint Condition, $105. Avengers, number two. Mint Condition, $136. Avengers number four in mint condition, $59.50. Amazing Spider-Man number 129, mint condition, $68. The same with my mint condition Giant X-Men 1, $68. These were all stolen from me. X-Men 94 in mint condition, $64.25. I had a second copy of Giant Size X-Men number one, paid a grand total of $92.50 for that mint book. They were all in mint condition. But that's not even it. Amazing Spider-Man 298. $5. I gotta show you this one when I find it. Amazing Spider-Man 289, 33 cents. Avengers number three in mint condition, $34. Where is it? The entire Todd McFarlane run ranged between 50 cents and $2. What? And just to show you, so you can see I'm not making it up. Amazing Spider-Man 303, 307, 308, 314, 309, 310, between $1.88, 92 cents, $1.00. That was back in the days, but that's not even the best part. Silver Surfer number three in mint condition. The old version. $9. Where is it? Punisher Limited Series. Okay, here's another one. Silver Surfer number four. Mint condition. $24.40. Alright. Okay. Wait until you see these. I'll make these the last two. And then I'll sign off. Because obviously... Let me just make sure there aren't any other major ones. But yeah, these were... A lot of these books of mine were stolen. Tales to Astonish, 37 14 Incredible Hulk, 105 $3.60. Captain America 110.22. Tales to Astonish number 100, $4.40. Okay, Avengers number 57 that I had stolen from me. Avengers 57, mint condition, $4.50. And much, much more, but let me show you right here these two these got stolen from me incredible hulk 181 amazing spider-man number nine both in mint condition i paid eighty dollars for my hulk 181 and 125 dollars for my amazing spider-man number nine that amazing spider-man number nine would have been a nine four to a nine six my Wolverine would have been about a 9-2. And I paid back in the days $180 for that book. So here's just some of the things that I wrote down. So I didn't even remember that I did this. But I thought it was really cool. Like here's another Todd McFarlane issue. Amazing Spider-Man 305, $2.25. So for the first two years of my major league getting into collecting, I actually documented them, didn't even realize I did it. And like I said, all of those key books were stolen from me. But if anything, like I said, because remember you saw in the book, $5. This is the original bag and board. Well, there's no board in it. But the original comic that I bought at a yard sale back in 1988 for a grand total of $5.00. And it's still, I mean, like I said, I bought it in a lower condition at a yard sale, but it's still, there's no Mylar, there's no backing board. This was stored in a box flat with the flap open. 
So, bags and boards are great, obviously. But they don't help your book as much as you've been lied to from the comic industry. And those who get mad at that, and I get people to get furious about that when I say that all the time. They must work for the companies and sell them. They don't, they're not going to preserve them indefinitely. They might preserve them an extra decade or two or an extra century or two, but you'll be dead by that point. The point is, people have had comics for decades before they even invented bag and boards, and the comics survived. So, take that with a grain of salt. So I just thought I would share that. I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, Johnny Future says, what's your oldest Overstreet guide you still own? I actually never bought any of the guides. I used to go by Wizard Magazine. I have a whole bunch of the Wizard Magazines. That's what I based all the prices on at that time. And uh, they would, one thing, the reason I got them is when there was, some, like when you went to the Overstreet Price Guide back in the days, they just say the number of the book and what the value was. But in Wizard Magazine, they would do that plus in a little asterisk tell you what the significance of that book was so a lot of my books back then i was buying because wizard would say like for example i had nothing i knew nothing about this but i remember when um wizard magazine said that green lantern number seven was the first peer appearance of sinestrio the fact that it said the first appearance of something i took the chance and when i saw this i bought it so i thought that was cool that i got that and um that was still one of my original comics but like I said, all of my comics used to be in mint condition. And for the prices I paid was amazing. So I, th I just thought I would share that. So like I said, I'm about to do another video. Give me like two or three minutes. Um, I'm selling my gold. I have five gold bars, one ounce. And two palladium bars, one ounce. Here's the link if you're live. It's in the description if you're not. They are already on the web store. They're right at the top. I am actually selling them below spot because if I can sell all seven of those, I will be able to pay for the house deposit and not have any financial problems. And I can actually start once we move. I mean, we still have to get approved in the area and the financing and everything. So we're still waiting on that. But if we do get approved and we do move down there, I could start slowly getting back to normal of the videos that you guys like. Um, if it doesn't open on your phone, just try and copy it and paste it on your computer or something. Um, I'm not sure why it doesn't work on your phone. But um, if you cannot get anything, because I know, like, you know, the gold and silver I'm selling is pretty expensive, but it's cheaper than anywhere else you're going to get it. Um, if you can at least share the link, it's going to help. Because, like I said, I only need to sell... Even if I sold five of them, I would still be in pretty good position. The same thing with my comics and my mystery boxes. I'm selling this stuff to get a house and to pay for all the medical bills for Luna. So it's not like I'm just like, you know what, I feel like taking a vacation and just want some extra money. But even if I did, that's some of the beauty about um, comic books and collectibles. Um, Marine Fubar says, bro, I'm in a group of Facebook that um, gold bars and all sorts of stuff. If you want, I could hook you up with the group. And I'm pretty sure you will sell them. That's awesome, man. Thank you. If, if you can actually share this link, um, and maybe in, maybe the link to the video I'm about to do, let me know. Because what I'm also going to do is this. If anybody buys two of the bars, I will throw in a silver coin for free. So it would either be a, a silver dime, a silver quarter, a silver half dollar, silver dollar. It will depend on um, what you buy. So if you buy two or more of the gold or palladium bars, um, I will throw in a silver coin for free. So I want to make sure that um, it's worth your while. So not only are you buying them below spot, you're also, if you buy two of them, you'll get a free silver coin. So it'll be either 90% silver or 100% silver, depending on the coin and what I can get grab. So I want to make sure people know that even though I'm selling technically 5 ounces of gold and 7 ounces of palladium, that's not my entire collection. That's just a tiny little piece. I took it out of storage, so I have it available. So I'm going to do that video right now if anybody's interested, but they are already on the website. So if you want to get them, once I sell those, I won't need to sell any more. Um, I hate having to sell them because I know how much more they're going to go up in value um, in value, because they have been going in an upward trend. Um, currently, right now, um, Palladium is up $23 today to 1530 
I'm selling them at fourteen ninety nine. I might raise that price soon. Gold is up a dollar twenty at fourteen twenty six. I'm selling them for fourteen fifteen. So let me end this in about five minutes. I'll set up that video. Um, you could say the name on the group chat here. That's no problem with that. Yeah, because I mean that's helping. But if you could share the link on their website, that would really help because you know one of the beautiful things about collections is. Some of them can become valuable. And if you ever have a situation where, God forbid, you have somebody in your family gets sick, or there's a hurricane, or a flood, or a tornado, or you just have to move, relocate, anything, you have the ability to get some money to be able to help your family. So I know some people are going to hate me for no matter what I do. I don't care. But, like, I might sell this book, too. So if somebody wants to make an offer... Um, like I said, it's about a 3.0 to a 3.5. It has a little missing piece here. It has some uh, cracking there, but it's a complete book. There's This isn't missing. It's just folded over. So it's a lower grade book, but the staples are intact. If somebody wants to make an offer on this, I might think about it. But um, first Sinestro, something I had as a kid that I just rediscovered in a box. So that's it. Um, if you want to stick around in five minutes, I'll do that other video. If you can give this a thumbs up, it really helps. If you can share any of my information, like I said, the links, even if you can share them on your social networks, or if you like that gentleman, and I'm going to do um, Marine Fubar as today's surprise subscriber shout out because that was really nice that he offered that. If anybody knows anything like that, and Russell, you could not be uh, more right. Gold and silver is money. I've been researching that stuff for a long time. That's why I have some of my original haters. They come from my original channel because I used to talk a lot about gold and silver, and I have lots of it. Um, I have it stored away so I don't have to worry about anybody. But, um, yeah, I could not agree more with that statement. So if you want to really protect yourself, trust me, get a couple of these. All right, so I'm rambling now. Let me end this video. Come back if you want to see the ones I'm selling. They're already on the website. If you could share the link, it would really help. Sign up for the cashback program. You could get 2% um, off of your comic book purchases on eBay, and you can get percentages off everywhere else if you look on there. There's tons of stores that you could buy from. Um, if you spend $25 or more the first 90 days you sign up, you get $10 cash back. It's free to join. Clicking on my link will give you that ability to get the $10 extra cash back if you spend $25 or more, and I get a one-time referral fee, so it helps me out as well. I have a GoFundMe page. I have a Patreon page, and I have many videos for you guys with tips and videos that will help you collect your comics better and be able to find better deals. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in about five minutes. And don't forget, it's not you, it's not I, it's we love comics, especially ones we refined and uh, writing down, remembering some of the prices I paid. Now it makes me even more sad that they're gone. That's life. Peace.